Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me so let's get into it Tonari You are wearing a see-through shirt and Tonari was not a very patient man that's why when he saw you wearing that he tried his best to control himself but when his thoughts kept taking over his mind he knew there was no hope anyway, so might as well just get to it. And that's how he stood up, wrapping his arms around her waist. And soon enough, his hands were snaking their way underneath her shirt, and it blushed brightly, turning to look at him. At least give me a warning next time. I'll try my best one on next time. He chuckled giving you a soft kiss, his hands laying on your bare skin for a moment, before he slowly pulled away, leaning in to give you a soft kiss instead. I was just touching you. I wasn't going to do anything. Yet. Unless you want me to. I don't mind. Tanari. I'm being serious. He laughed at that. Kissing you again. Sorry. I'll take you seriously this time. I'm going to my room though. But if you want this to continue, I wouldn't mind. Sino? Sino is usually hesitant. Shy. So it's really strange that you see him that you can initiate him. Especially when his hands right now were wandering underneath your shirt. As he sat on his lap, he blushed brightly, but you look ahead of you, closing your eyes, letting out a soft sigh as you relax into his touch. I can do this right, Wyan. You don't mind it? No, not at all, I know. And you could feel how he was relieved. He too letting out a soft sigh. As his hands continued to wander, as he smiled, continuing to just rest, feeling his touch against your bare skin. It was a rare occasion, and you were going to appreciate it, especially because Saino wasn't usually so bold, and for him to do this, it truly really meant that he needed it. And you didn't mind letting him have it today. Especially when he was being so cute about it. Albedo. Albedo just couldn't wait. You looked so beautiful. And you couldn't simply keep his hands off of you right now. That's why they wandered through his shirt. Slipping on their knees. And making your breath hitch. Um, Albedo? Right now? What's wrong with that? I'm not doing anything extreme, am I? He teases, whispering in your ear, and you blush brighter, and try to calm down, afraid that he may be hearing how your heart is beating so fast. That would be quite embarrassing in and of itself. So you try to stay quiet, and a bit of smiles at that. His hands wandering further and further up. And he teases you a little bit before he finally lets go. Cupping your face in his hands. And leaning in to give you a soft kiss. Before winking at you. Tonight, my place. Alright? And he giggles softly. Alright then. But next time... At least try to make it look like a date. Oh, it is. It just comes with a special surprise. Well, you couldn't really deny that then. Because it did come with a very special surprise. Child. Oh, a child can be a little bit perverted at times. But what could he do? You're really beautiful. And you're his girlfriend. So... You don't leave him much choices right here. And that's simply why he 
he finds his hands wandering through your shirt as you sit next to him. Child, come on. I'm only trying to read the book. Can you get your hands off of me for once? You say, trying not to laugh at his behavior. But he just shakes his head, petulant, and instead pulls you even closer, his hands going underneath your shirt completely, moving gently over your stomach, as if just trying to memorize every inch of you, and it blushed brightly at how tender he was. He then pulled your shirt up, leaving gentle pecks on your stomach, and making you giggle softly as you blushed. Child, come on, stop it. Nope. You're too pretty for me to stop. And too adorable, too. Your laughter is hard to resist, Wyan. You really have to try harder than that. And you did. But he really wasn't letting up. He loved you. So don't try to blame him for this. Kaza, well, you were wearing a see-through shirt. And even though Kaza could see a lot, he wanted more than just to see. He wanted to touch. And that's why he very politely gestured at your shirt. As he grabbed the hem of it, his hand hovering underneath, waiting for permission. And as he nodded, he smiled at you, letting his hands wander over the expanse of your body, going up towards your chest but not doing too much. He doesn't want to touch you so much. He only wants to feel your skin, wants to press your body against his. And as the two of you get closer, Kaza leaned in, pressing his lips softly to yours. And with that, and the way his hands are wandering over your body, you couldn't help but melt into the kiss, closing your eyes. And sighing into it, letting Kaza deep in the kiss. It was intense and filled with passion. Mostly because the two of you don't get like this often. But Kaza was excited and really riled up. And there was nothing more he wanted in the entire universe than to feel you. To touch you. And right now, looking at his eyes and the way they were looking at you... He knew you had to give him exactly that. You were a good partner to him. And right now, he didn't just want to be good. He wanted to be perfect. Because Kaza deserved that at least. And that's exactly why you don't continue this on the couch. Because you simply know from his gaze that it will lead to something more. So you're truly better off in your bedroom.